Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요 여러분, Erin입니다. So even though today is my day off, I'm starting my day a little earlier than usual because today is gonna be super busy. First thing I'm gonna do today is to work out. I'm gonna try to do this every day till end of March because something big is coming up. I pay for Apple Fitness Plus, but I never really use it. I feel like I'm losing so much muscles, which is not good. We can let that happen. Let's do it. Hey, it's Kim at the Fitness. So Kuma and Cookie's been asking me to open this box since yesterday because this is their subscription box. Uh, they deliver every month. It has their toys. We're gonna do unboxing together. Unboxing time! Are you excited? Let's see what we got here. And this is the only package that they get so excited because they know it's theirs. Sniff the roses. I guess it's a flower theme. It comes with the toys like this. Oh, there's a little a ball. Yeah? Come on. Mmm, it smells good. It has an ice cream scent. Mmm, smells like vanilla ice cream. Okay, next. What is this? Baseball tug. Look. Kuma and Cookie will love this. Look at this, Kuma. Fun. Okay, next. But the thing is, ooh, you know what? Ball in Cookie, stop. It has the rubber ball inside. So it says rip and reveal. So once they rip this outside off, there's another toy in here. Kuma likes stuff like this. Okay, next. The last one. Oh, it's squeak. <laughs> All done. Are you happy? They only choose their new toys and play with those, so. What did you get, Cookie? See? Come on, go, look at your toy. See, that's a new toy too. Cookie wants to grab another one. Oh, that's a new toy too. Cookie. Cookie loves new toys. <laughs> Cookie, you're so pretty. They've been playing with those toys since we opened it. Well, I'm gonna take a shower real quick and get ready. We need to go to grocery store. I also need to go to Target. I'll be back after the shower. Every time I come here, I feel like it's gonna hit the ceiling. <laughs> so scary! We normally get our toilet paper here. And also I need to pick up Spam anyway. I'm gonna make kimchi jjigae. I was gonna make it with a pork, but my husband, he likes it with the Spam. So I'm gonna be a good wife and just make whatever he wants. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna use this to decorate our entrance. Okay, this one is done. I found the spam. Okay, this is it. I need to get out of here. I'm about to head to Whole Foods.
Okay, I'm back from grocery shopping. Let's do a quick Whole Foods haul and see how much I spent. My husband loves this, so I actually bought it. Alabong is a three pound pack, $8.88. Some garlic bread. This one was on sale as well, so it's $3.99. Green onion, it's a $1.49. Organic chicken breast, it's $9.99 per pound. And this pack I picked up, it actually came up to be $14.59. A little container of parmesan cheese, $3.99. Okay, and I got snack for the dogs. This was a $5.99. This was a $4.99. Mozzarella cheese, $4.49. One lemon, 79 cents. I got two of raspberries and two of peach sweet tea. These are $2.99 each, $11.96. And organic ketchup, $7.99. I'm lazy, so I actually bought marinara sauce. Have you heard about this place? Carbon is actually in New York. Very popular restaurant. It's, my cousin was here visiting in October, and I got so lucky. I got to make reservation, and we ate there, and that's the time I was taking break from YouTube. So I couldn't take any videos or anything like that, but I do have some pictures. Uh, these are the food that we had at Carbon to make reservation. There's a $50 deposit per person. If you no show, it's not refundable. Your deposit money goes towards your food. For four people, it was between like, I would say it was around like $350, but it was worth it. My husband and I are trying to go back there. I've been very unlucky on making reservation. But like I said earlier, in March, big thing is coming, so. Please stay tuned. You can find this at Whole Foods. Their spicy vodka rigatoni is must have. So if you ever get a chance to go to Carbon, please, please, please try spicy vodka rigatonis. So this marinara sauce was a little bit pricey. It was $90.99, almost $10 for this little jar. Altogether, it came out to be $78.16. Not so bad for a week worth of groceries. I'm about to put this away and eat lunch because I'm so hungry and give my dogs a little snack before they go nap time. Come here, babies. Finally, let's go ahead and take this tree down. Okay, finally, I put all my Christmas stuff away. I just feel like we have so much more space. Should have done that a long time ago, like last month. And there's another thing that I'm going to do today. I've been postponing organizing our documents and files. And last week, I finally made some tags for the tab, the file tab. I'm gonna organize that today, so. So I made some categories that fit our family. And the tab set insert that I bought only has 25 tabs in it. But I have like almost 60 categories here. Yay! Okay, 25 done. Oh my god, it feels so much better. 2,000 years later. Hey guys, 
I got distracted with just organizing this whole room. So right now it's almost four o'clock. I forgot to eat lunch. I have some guests coming to visit me around my birthday in May. So I wanna organize this. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys. I was talking to myself. Look, my small ass SD card. I didn't know my camera was turned off and I was like talking to myself for like an hour. What a dumbass. Guys, look, this is how much I cleaned up today. You cleaned up today, Cookie. Thank you. Since I can use my camera right now, I have to move all my videos to my computer and then get back on. So Monday is actually holiday. I will come back on Monday and show you guys how to make chicken parm. Please hang around. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I will see you soon. Okay, it's Monday today and I'm back. We are going to make chicken parm. Let me show you the ingredients. Chicken breast, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, mayo, and buttery cracker, olive oil, parmesan cheese, two eggs, and lemon. And I forgot to buy it, but we also need spaghetti noodles. Okay, I just went to the store and picked up the spaghetti noodles. First, let's preheat the oven. It's set it for 400 Fahrenheit. It's gonna be around about 204 Celsius. Okay, let's take care of this chicken first. I have three chicken breasts here. I'm going to have all of this. It's gonna make six pieces total. We're gonna use the meat pounder and make it a little bit thinner. If you don't have a meat pounder at home, that's fine. You can use a heavy skillet and just put it on top of it. We're going to mix two eggs, garlic powder, and some salt. So season it as you desire. We're going to crush these crackers. One sleeve is fine, but I'm using one and a half, just in case. You can use a food processor if you want. I'm using my hands because food processor is one thing that I don't have in this house. So if you're in Korea and trying to find this buttery cracker, this one tastes just like Ace. There's Korean cracker called Ace. If you're in Korea, you can use Ace cracker. And we're going to add half cup of this. Mix them well. Go ahead and dredge this chicken into the egg mixture. And then this. And next, we're about to cook this a little bit on a skillet, but we're not cooking the chicken. We just wanna make the outside golden and crispy. Three minutes each side, just to make it golden and crispy on the outside. I'm gonna try to fry two at a time. Okay, let's flip this. Oh, look. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna cook this in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna mix about a little over half cup of mayo, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and then half cup of Parmesan cheese. Chicken is done already. The mixture we made earlier. This is totally optional, but I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese on top as well. 
we're gonna change the oven setting to broil and this will go in there for about five minutes we're gonna prepare pasta noodles you just need to boil it and cook it and I add some salt I'm gonna use this much for one serving chicken is all done Pasta is all cooked. I'm gonna drain this real quick. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick together. And we're gonna top the chicken with marinara sauce. Black pepper. And then some dried or fresh parsley. It's one of your favorite food, right? Yeah, chicken parm. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, that's good. Good? Mmm. It cooks so well, it looks juicy. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's mm. so good. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, so I'm all done eating. It was so good. And it's not even heavy. 아, 마늘빵을 안 줬구나. I actually bought garlic bread and I completely forgot to serve it. Do you want it with your lunch? Meal prep done. The chicken parm was really good. You should try. You should try for yourself or just cook it for your friends and family. They will love it. If you have any questions, just comment down below. This is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, peace!